Hi there guys, this is just Matthew here. Now today I thought I would do another review and today I will be doing a review of the new Safari Limited Ammonite. Now as most of you are all familiar with, Ammonites are probably one of the most common and most recognized of all prehistoric marine animals. I mean, you've got the spiral shells, the squid-like features, big round eyes as you can see. Yes, and all of these shells, the shells are probably, or, or what is most commonly found of these creatures. Now, they lived all throughout the Mesozoic, from the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, and died off in the KT event that wiped out the rest of life on Earth. Now, most of these were probably small to medium-sized creatures, so probably around, you know, a few centimeters in length to about two feet with these shells but some specimens can reach over six feet so these like as tall as a man these shells can be so that's a pretty big ammonite and the ammonites were probably prey for a variety of creatures including pliosaurs and the occasional mosasaurs that would try to bite down on their shells and sometimes succeeded now ammonites are relatives of the nautiloids which sort of resemble ammonites today however they are a little bit different but as you can see it's got the same like squid appendages that all the cephalopods have you've also got these two longer tentacles that come out of in there to like br to like grab onto prey and then pull it into their beaks which, which well there really isn't one in there see but the detail on this model is really really nice when you've got the big eye as you can see big yellow eye got the the shell which is really really pretty I like this I like the shell looks very very nice and all of the tentacles as well you see each one is different it's just like lashing out at prey probably like a passing fish or some sort of crustacean and I really like the colour scheme as well. It's like um, orange and red with a little bit of, bit of, bit of like yellow. And then you've got like a dark, darker brownish red on the shell. And it's like um, it's like charcoal black goes on the head, which I think looks pretty cool. And the eye as well is very, very big, as these guys could probably see in the dark. And they need to as well. And now also, the bottom is this appendage. Now I'm not sure what it's called, but I do know what it is for. Because what is what is it? It is for actually um, raising and lowering themselves in the water. So if, if they need to go higher, they would shoot water out of it to go higher. And if they want to go lower, then they would just do the do the same to lower themselves in the water. Now it is great that you know, we have got another ammonite model because ammonite models are not normally made. Even though Bullyland made one a couple of years back. However, as you can see. <sighs> Hang about, let's see. You can see it is much bigger. And that one does, as you can see in there, has got a beak. Yes, now they probably, I think they are two separate species, I believe. But both of them I, I like. But I think I especially like safaris much more because it I means the detail on it is very, very impressive. Even though Bully Lands came first, but yeah, besides that. But, but yes, this is a very, very great, great model of an ammonite. Very, very accurate. Um, the detail is really, really nice. I think it's great. Although it is best to put it on like um, like a, a flat surface on like a, a ledge because the tentacles they do tend to push the model over. But it's better if they like hang down on something. But yes. Very, very good model of an ammonite, and also one of a very commonly known creature, yet very few models of it. So, so you know, it's good to see that Safari's branch now and making out other, other creatures besides dinosaurs and mammals. So, um, I do hope you like this review, guys. Please comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've got two more new model reviews planned, the Nothronychus and the Utah Raptor, both from Collector. And then I will continue to do... Um, the models that you guys have requested and 
hopefully when the new collector models call everything dinosaur i'll be reviewing those guys because i cannot wait for them so as i as i said before please like comment subscribe all that good stuff got some great new videos planned and i hope you guys take care and have a great day bye